Hi, I'm Donna Clausen, and the show is Going to the Dogs, and this is my co-host today, Ted. And Ted's my foster dog that I got about five years ago, and I call him a foster failure because I kept him. He's a great little dog. He was three when I got him, and he has just been a joy to have. Our show is going to be for dog lovers dog owners and future dog owners. We're going to have lots of tips. There's going to be pictures, and uh, some of you are going to send me some pictures, I'm sure, so I can display your dog's pictures on our uh, show. Today we're going to talk about uh, getting a dog and choosing the right one because just seeing one and falling in love with those little puppy eyes and that little puppy breath might not be the right dog for you. So the first thing I want us to talk about is why are you going to get a dog? Are you ready for a dog? Are your children a little bit older? Uh, do you want a companion? Do you want a big dog? There's lots of questions that you need to ask yourself before you just go out and get a dog. The other thing I want to talk to you about is going to be, of course, adopting a dog. And one of my things that I truly believe is you need to adopt your dog, not shop, but adopt. There's lots of rescues and fosters. Uh, find one that you're comfortable with and do your homework. And when we come back, I'm going to tell you how to find the perfect dog for you and your family. Right, Ted? Hi, I'm Robin Dyer, and I want you to come work out with me on my new show called Burn. It's the at-home-based workout that'll take you 15 minutes. It'll fit your busy lifestyle. It can also be suited to any fitness level, so come join me and let's get fit together. All right, here's a very quick pet tip. You're not gonna believe this, but I have seen people walking their dog, pick poop up with one hand, put it in a bag in the other hand. That is not how you do it. Let me show you. We're going to pretend like this little jar of baby food is poop. Now, I'm a firm believer in Ziploc bags and hefty bags, but I'm just gonna show you with this. Put your hand in the bag, pick the poop up, bring your hand out of the bag, Tie a knot in the bag. And you can get home and dispose of it properly without it getting all over you or anybody else. Don't leave your pet poop in somebody else's yard. Be a responsible pet owner. Thank you. All right, well, welcome back to Going With The Dogs, and I am going to uh, give you an example of choosing the right pet. I had a lady call me the other day, and I'm gonna really shorten the story to kind of protect the guilty or the innocent or something, and I'm gonna show you with this little example. She said, Donna, we really, want, really want a dog, and we are ready for a dog, and I said, that's great. And she said, could you help us find a dog? Well, okay, I know lots of people that know lots of dogs, so I can. I said, all right, now pretend like this is all the dogs available right here, okay? She said, well, I want a little dog, less than 20 pounds, okay? Okay, so now that's about what we have left. She said, no, I want a female, okay? All right. On a female. And she's out low shedding. Can't shed because I have allergies to dander. All right, low shedding. And it needs to be house trained. Okay, low shedding, small dog, needs to be house trained. All dogs potentially can be house trained, but she means right now when she gets it. And she said, I really mean house trained like. I leave the house at seven o'clock in the morning. Sometimes I don't get home to six, and sometimes I go out to eat, and it might be 7.30 or so before I get home. So it needs to be house trained for about nine or so hours. 
she might be able to find one, and I would really help her. But don't you think she really needs a cat or a hamster or a gerbil? I didn't tell her that, but that's kind of what she's picking from. So I want to help you find the perfect pet for you. And, and you do need to know, do you, do you need a cat? Do you need a goldfish? Or you, you know, is this the right time for a dog? Because dogs are a commitment, and when you get a dog, it's going to be for, you know, they can live 12 to 15 years. And so uh, during that time, uh, you know, come grow old with me. If you choose a puppy, <laughs> you know, you're going to have the, the, all the little puppy things that go with that. If you get an older dog, it just kind of depends on what you get. But let me tell you something fun. One way that you can find a dog, you can take a little quiz. And so kind of Google this. You can go to dogfinder.com or dogfriendly.com or animalplanet.com, and they all have these little quizzes. And for instance, here's one on dogquiz.com, and it'll ask you about eight or ten questions. Uh, do you want a big dog or a little dog? Do you have a fenced yard? Are you an apartment dweller? Are you a couch potato? It would be terrible if you got a Jack Russell and you're a couch potato. That's not the dog for you. So you need to think about those things. Uh, one of my best friends has an Irish wolfhound, and that dog is, you know, this tall. Couch potato. Great inside dog. It's kind of like living with a love seat that follows you around, but it's a great dog. But anyway, get on here answer the questions, and it'll give you several ideas for dogs. If you have allergies, you know, most, you know, some, some people say they don't shed, all dogs shed a little bit, but it's the dander in dogs that cause the allergies. So if you need a low allergy type dog, it will tell you which dogs might be for you. If uh, that's not a problem, you don't have to worry about it. If you want a dog that's going to be able to go hiking with you, It'll help you. But anyway, this dog quiz thing is fun, so do that. Uh, another thing to think about for your dogs, what kind of dog you want, uh, think about your lifestyle. Do you like to go to the beach? Do you like to travel? Or do you pretty much like to stay home? I've got a Yorkie, a Cairn Terrier. My Yorkie's name is Ted. The Cairn Terrier is Max. And then I have my little rescue dog, Sassy. And Sassy's a Yorkie. Um, they're great. They're little couch potatoes. I've trained them about two o'clock. I say, kids, let's go take a nap, and they go pile up on the couch. I kept my son's dogs the past few days. Oh, no, no, no. They have to be walked. They have to be fed when they poop. It's like an elephant's been in the yard. It's crazy. So you need to think about all that. Uh, because dogs, you know, dogs will love you. They'll be good buddies, but make sure that you're a good buddy to your dog. All right, here's something else. Are you a strict disciplinarian or a pushover? Well, I'm kind of a pushover. So I don't need a dog that I'm going to have to just really, you know, get serious with, talk, talk kind of stern. That's not really who I am. Uh, a lot of people can do that. If you get a big dog, if you get a strong dog, and I've, I've been, back when I had my dog business, I'd go to these dog shows, and there'd be people with Great Danes and German Shepherds that didn't have a clue how to walk them on a leash. You've got to be a responsible pet owner. Don't get a dog you can't handle. All right? Um, I think we're going to take a little break here, and when we come back, I'm going to give you two great pet tips. Okay? All right. See you in a minute. Every day there are dogs and cats right here in Conway looking for their forever homes. So if you're looking for a new best friend or a companion for your current pet, check out Five Pets, where we highlight local pets available for adoption at the Conway Animal Welfare Unit. That's Five Pets daily at 4 a.m., 6.30 a.m., 1 p.m., and 6.30 p.m. with new episodes weekly, only on Conway Corporation Channel 5. Okay, here is a quick pet tip. If your dog ever has breath that just would knock you down, this helps. This is Listermint Cool Mint, and it doesn't smell the best in the world, but it's better than stinky dog breath. Mix one tablespoon to one cup of water, put it in a little spray bottle, check and make sure the spray is not just going to you know, rush too much in your pet. Open your pet's mouth 
and just do a little gentle squirt. They'll kind of taste it for a little bit and then you can squirt it again a couple of times and it really freshens the breath. The other thing, the ingredients in this Lister Mint also repels fleas. So when you're through spraying your dog's mouth, give it a couple of squirts down her back and then kind of rub it in. Repel fleas. Great. Thanks. Hi, I'm Robin Dyer, and I want you to come work out with me on my new show called Burn. It's the at-home-based workout that'll take you 15 minutes. It'll fit your busy lifestyle. It can also be suited to any fitness level, so come join me and let's get fit together. All right, we're back, and this is Sassy, and Sassy's my foster dog, and Sassy is wonderful. Uh, you know, most of the time, rescue dogs, it's not their fault. It's what was on the other end of the leash was the problem. It's not the dog. Sassy is house trained. Uh, I take her out four or five times a day, and she potties. When I leave the house, I put her in a crate. When I come back, I'll take her out and she's been great. She's good for several hours at a time. She sleeps in bed with me. So you need to consider fostering a dog. I'm afraid she might be a foster failure. I'm afraid she may have to stay with us because I'm getting pretty attached to her. One thing, really think about a dog before you just go out and get one. Another thing is think about your family situation. You know, when you're a single guy, you want a pit bull, Rottweiler, Great Dane, Irish Wolfhound, Bulldog. Well, if you're going to marry pretty soon, and that's not the dog for your fiancé, soon to be your wife, you might need to hold off getting that dog for a while and see what's going to fit right with you as a family. And the other thing, someday you're going to have children. What dog will go uh, be a good family member? Uh, I have three sons, and they each have uh, dogs. We have corgis. We have mutts. We have... Um, a beautiful lab, Coco, and uh, there's lots of dogs going on. All the dogs are good with kids, and they've been taught to be good with kids. We teach our grandchildren gentle hands. So to be a responsible uh, pet owner, you need to think about how your life is going to be changing in the next few years. And lives can change in a hurry. And it's not the dog's fault that suddenly you have the baby there and you're not sure about the dog. So you can introduce your uh, baby to the dog, introduce your dog to the baby. There's lots of things you're going to be doing as a responsible pet owner. Well, then this segment was choosing your dog. I hope that I've given you enough information that you can make a really good decision and come up with a dog that you love and that will love you for many years to come. Thanks for joining us. Take care. Sassy, tell them bye.